Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I help you improve your English level. Today we're going to talk about how to use commas with fanboys. So first of all, fanboys are coordinating conjunctions and fanboys is an acronym to help you remember the seven coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. So if you can remember the term fanboys, you can remember the coordinating conjunctions. And coordinating conjunctions are used to connect words, phrases, and clauses. In this video, we're going to talk about each one individually. Now, first of all, the coordinating conjunctions that are most commonly used are and, but, or, and so. So let's begin with each of these. First of all, let's talk about and. And is used to add information or to combine ideas. For example, my friends went to the park and they brought a picnic basket full of treats. So here we have used the coordinating conjunction to combine two independent clauses. And that is the key to commas with fanboys. When we are combining two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction, we must add a comma before the coordinating conjunction. My friends went to the park and they brought a picnic basket full of treats. Imagine that the subject they was not in this sentence then we would not have a comma before and because brought a picnic basket full of treats would not be an independent clause. It would not make sense on its own. So we only use a comma before a coordinating conjunction when combining two independent clauses. Let's look at another example. Jane is starting a new job tomorrow, comma, and she is very nervous. Once again, we have two independent clauses connected with a comma plus and. Now let's talk about but. But is used to show contrast. I wanted to go to the gym yesterday, comma, but it was closed for the bank holiday. Once again, we're using a comma before but because we are combining two independent clauses. Remember that an independent clause has a subject, it or I, plus a predicate and makes sense on its own. Another example, my little brother enjoys cooking, comma, but he only likes making pasta. Once again, we have a comma before the coordinating conjunction combining two independent clauses. Now let's talk about or. Or is used to present alternatives or choices. For example, we could go to the beach today, comma, or we could stay home and play video games. So we're using or to show two different options. Notice that we do have a coordinating conjunction here, and. However, this is a part of a list. Stay home and play video games. Play video games is not an independent clause, so we do not use a comma before and. Here's another example. I'll cook dinner tonight, comma, or I could order something instead. Once again, two independent clauses, combined with a comma plus a coordinating conjunction. Now let's talk about so. So is used to indicate a cause and effect relationship. Karen studied all night, comma, so she felt prepared for the big test. So is a way of saying as a result of this. Karen studied all night and as a result of her studying, she felt prepared for the big test. Mark forgot his lunch at home, comma, 
so he had to borrow some money for food. Once again, we're using commas before the coordinating conjunction, combining two independent clauses. Now we will continue with for, nor, and yet, which are not as common as and, but, or, and so. Before we get into that, if you want more help practicing your punctuation, you can order my 16 basic punctuation rules ebook, which has over 50 pages and will help you with the most important punctuation rules in English. Your purchase also helps support this channel. Just click on the link in the description below or in the pinned comment. So now let's talk about for as a coordinating conjunction. For is used to explain a reason or purpose, and it is similar to because. However, it's quite formal, and it's not as common in English as because. For example, Julia decided to stay inside, for it was raining heavily. This is very formal sounding. It's not very common in English. Usually, people will say because. However, we would use a comma before for if it is used as a coordinating conjunction combining two independent clauses. Another example, Daniel stayed up late studying for he was determined to improve his grades. Once again, we have two independent clauses with a subject and a predicate combined with a coordinating conjunction and a comma. The next coordinating conjunction is nor, and nor is used to present an additional negative idea, often following another negative statement. Jessica's boyfriend didn't call her, nor did he respond to her text messages. So here we have two independent clauses once again, combined with a comma plus a coordinating conjunction. Now, after the coordinating conjunction nor, you can see that the word order is a little different. In sentences with nor connecting two clauses, inversion occurs in the second clause to keep the negative and formal structure consistent. So we say nor did he instead of nor he did. I have a video on that which you can check out on my channel as well. Here's another example. I don't feel like going out this weekend, nor do I have the energy to see any friends. And finally, let's talk about yet. Yet is used to introduce a contrasting idea that seems surprising or contrary to the previous statement. It's very similar to but. However, there's an element of surprise with yet. For example, Jeremy studied all night, yet he still felt nervous about his Spanish exam. We use yet to emphasize how the second clause is a bit surprising. So even though Jeremy studied all night, he still felt nervous. Once again, we use a comma before yet because we have two independent clauses with subjects and predicates. Olivia rarely reads books yet she finished an entire novel in one day. So now it's time for a short quiz with five sentences. You must identify the incorrect sentences and correct them. Number one, Liam wanted to improve his guitar skills, so he practiced every day. Number two, Jane made a beautiful bracelet for her best friend's birthday. Number three, my grandparents bought a new car and they gave me their old one. Number four, Dean was in a bad mood, but he didn't want to talk about it. And finally, number five, Beth didn't practice before the game, yet she ended up scoring the winning goal. Okay. Number one is incorrect. We are missing a comma. Here we have two independent clauses. Liam wanted to improve his guitar skills and he practiced every day. We have two subjects, two predicates. So we need a comma after skills before so. 
Number two is also incorrect. Her best friend's birthday is not an independent clause. Because of this, we do not use a comma. Number three is correct as it is. My grandparents bought a new car, comma, and they gave me their old one. That's because we have two independent clauses joined together with a coordinating conjunction plus a comma. Number four is also incorrect. We are missing a comma. Dean was in a bad mood, comma, but he didn't want to talk about it. Again, we have two subjects and two predicates. So because we have two independent clauses, we must add a comma before the coordinating conjunction. And finally, number five is correct as it is. That's because we do have a comma combining a coordinating conjunction with two independent clauses. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of five. And if you had any difficulties, I have many other videos on this topic which you can check out on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.